Coach, let's make those comments and we'll take questions. Yeah, first of all, um, I thought you know, Arkansas a very good team, like you said, going into this week. Um, and I think uh, physically, we just got beat. That was one area that um, they did a good job. They ran the ball well. And I think one of the, the key drives for them was the, the punt that was uh, put in the backup position there to get out of that first play. And, uh, so, their kids play hard. Uh, they did a good job, and, and uh, we did have plus one in the turnover category, which was our emphasis. So we take care of the football and be plus one on turnovers. Uh, so that was positive for us. But, but overall, uh, stopping the run and being able to run the ball more effectively than we did, uh, I think we're, we're keys in the game there. So, um, and. You know, just overall, we just we, we had too many mistakes uh, to win a football game, and so we got to all of us got to do a better job of uh, eliminating those. And coaching, playing, uh, preparation, it all goes back to that. Uh, playing good football games, and uh, really neither team, both team had a bye week, so there's really no advantage there. They had a bye week, we had a bye week. Uh, we did get some guys back. Uh, a little bit more healthy, so that did help us. Uh, but overall, uh, we didn't we didn't have a a good enough plan. We didn't play well enough to beat a good football team that we know is a good football team. I know they had a few losses um, before that BYU game. We knew they were good, and you know, quarterback backs played well. And, um, hopefully, that was the difference in the game. I think that looking some of the stats in there as well, uh, they were uh, perfect in the red zone. Uh, and you know, special teams, that, that was an area for us too. You know, we had some opportunities there that we didn't uh, didn't go in our favor. And uh, so we got to be better in those areas as well. This field position became a factor uh, at some point or at some points in the game. So, uh, but a credit to them. And, and we got we to gotta be much better. And so, you know, the key for us is to go back and look on Sunday, watch the film, and look at what we have to do and how we improve in those areas. And, uh, the things we have to do as a staff and as a team to get better. Got a question? Got a question? Raise your hand. First one, Jason. Uh, everybody, uh, the team was talking about just uh, getting back on track. Uh, where does that start for next week? What, you, what exactly were you referring to? But just every they said from all sides of the wall, which just means being back on track. I feel like they they feel very defeated. It seems like so. Where where does it start getting on the right track? They're defeated. As far as you lose a game, I, I think that's the one thing. You know, just so we're clear on, you put a lot of work into it. I would hope no one's happy about losing the game. Simple as that. Um, you know, you, you put a lot of time and effort into preparing yourself. And we know we're not guaranteed to win, but if it's not painful when you lose, then you got the wrong people. So uh, I'm assuming what they mean by getting back on track is everybody. You know, we got to play good football. That, that's really what it comes down to. We've talked about that uh, for a long time. We talked about it all last week as well. The exercise, that's playing good football. Take care of the football, tackling, blocking, just the fundamentals of the game. Everybody assigned the sound. Uh, us as a staff, putting our guys in a position to be successful, having the right guys in the right spots. Um, and, you know, obviously from the outcome of the game, you know, no one can feel like what we did was good enough. So, yeah, I think everybody, everybody's in there hurting, uh, which we should be. You know, it was a football game. And, and one against a team that we felt like we had put a lot of preparation into, prepared, you know, prepared ourselves, put a lot of preparation time in, and uh, wanted to play a lot better than what we did today. So, you know, I'd say frustrated. And, um, but you got to go back to work. So there, there's things that we know we can do, we need to do, we have to do. Uh, in order for us to be better prepared and to go out and play better football as we get today. Front row, Chase. Brian, the defense has some guys who played and successful in the past. He gave up a thousand yards and 13 rushing touchdowns the last three games. So yeah. You, I mean, think you're on what's going on, what's going on. Yeah, it's not good. You know, and I see the same thing you see. It's not good. Um, yeah, we're. Uh, I think one of the things, you know, you put your finger on something, I'd say tackling. You know, that's one area, right? You gotta we gotta build tackle, we gotta build tackle better, we gotta get more guys to the ball, but that's always an area. I don't think it's just our team. I think that's football in general. 
but you know, good defenses, good teams, uh, they tackle well. I think, I don't know how many broken tackles there were today, but there were opportunities for us to, to create some field position to have a better opportunity um, for our team. So it comes down to that. That's on special teams as well. So, you know, you want to you be able to stop the run. I mean, that's one of the things that, that we talk about, that we want to be that team that can stop the run. We're not doing it. We're not doing a very good job of that right now. And I think the teams that we're playing, um, one, I think they're good. I felt like the old line for Arkansas, we knew they were good up front. Uh, we knew those backs and that quarterback would be effective. Uh, so, I don't know if we saw anything today that we didn't see on film from Arkansas. We saw the back at break tackles. And he would bounce and he got in open space. He could make uh, some big runs. We, we saw the quarterback in one-on-one -on -one situations and make a miss. Uh, you got to tackle him low. You got to take his legs up because he's a big guy. Um, and, you know, overall, that just comes back to we got to we got to do a better job. If we had the answers for that, we'd have 1,000 yards and 13 touchdowns. Uh, but that's not a good stat. That's not something that's going to help us. Obviously, it hasn't and something we got fixed. You can say your name and affiliation, please, when I call on you. Is that correct? Right, and I see WB Camp 13 in Birmingham. Coach, just overall this season, what would you summarize this season so far? I know you got some games to play still. I would summarize the season. I would summarize so the season. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got to keep getting better. I mean, we're just not, we're not good enough. And that's just what it comes down to. And, you know, I think that's something, too, just as a, as a player, as a coach. Um, even when you win, I, th I still think you always have to self-evaluate, but we talked about that. We're just not good enough. And when, what are we doing to get better? You, know, you sit there and say that, but it's really, I, I think, you know, everybody's got these intentions of who they think they are, and then you have the actions of who you really are. So those, those got to marry up. And you know, we can say we want to win, we can say we want to do these things, but are we good enough? And are we doing the things to put ourselves in a position to be good enough? You know, right now we're not. You know, that, that's it. So we got to be better. And, um, we need a lot more action, all right, than uh, just hope and, and wanting to and all that. You got to go for it. You got to put in the time. You got to put in the effort. You got to um, you got to make sure that every little thing you do matters because it does. You're playing good teams. You, these guys, no one we play is going to roll over and just let you beat them. They're going to fight every single game. They're going to fight for four quarters. They're all trained that way as well, and that's what you're going to get. And so you, know, you have to be better as an individual, collectively as a team have to do better. Every single one of us, starting with me and then every one of our coaches and players, right? So we're not good enough right now. we got to be better. Still left, Tobias. I'm Tobias Wilborn, AL.com. Um, on that punt where they got at the six-yard line, uh, at least it appeared from – it looked like the player touched it. What was it? What was their conversation with the refs, if any, and should a play like that be reviewable? Uh, I didn't think he touched it. I mean, you can see it on the big screen. Yeah, I think they reviewed it. I do. I mean, I, I saw it. I saw it. You know, one thing, the official's never going to look up at the, at the big screen. If they're going to go review it, they'll go have uh, their time to review, and they'll have the, uh, um, the official go over there and do that. But, you know, there wasn't a call. You know, and there wasn't, uh, there wasn't something there that needed to be reviewed. I thought, I mean, the kid got out of the way and, and the ball was, you know, we still have a good field position right there. Obviously, if he touches that and we recover, that's a huge play. Um, but he seemed to get out of the way on that right there. So he like he to review it. Certainly, uh, Brian, uh, Tom Green, you know, Tom, um, defense has given up 40 points in four of the last six games. Uh, that unit's really been a strong point that's carried this team for much of the last few years. What do you attribute to that kind of fall off this year? In comparison to everybody else and all the other teams no, that, no. that we didn't coach when we were here, oh, that you, we even last year that you didn't yeah. guys for a yeah. Time. Well, I think it's you know I think there's what we talked about here. I, mean, I think it comes down to tackling. Uh, I think the teams that were playing, um, obviously we don't want to give up that many yards or that many points. Um, so yeah, there's things that we we got to do a much better job. To, first of all, stop and run number one. We got to do that, and then uh, you know we created a takeaway, which was good. That was huge. All right, that was a big thing for our defense that we wanted to get done. Um, but, you know, I, I think
mean, number one is the run game, and then when there was 520 yards, they had the game 75 plays. Um, we got to get off the field on third downs. That's one big thing. Uh, I think the, they were 8 of 14, so um, over 50% on third downs, and, and that's not what we want. So getting off the field on third downs, um, slowing the run game down, and then really trying to make the team one dimensional. It's hard to do that against good teams, and obviously they're scheming and they got good players, but we got to do a better job in the run game. Those are extending drives. You know, that's what's happening. Extending drives, those drives turn some points. Back up. Uh, Ike Jones with the War Report. Coach, have you guys given any consideration to making any changes in the kicking game, specifically on kickoffs with Andres Carlson mm -hmm. having another kick go out of bounds and not kicking it into the end zone as you um, um, want it? Yeah, we had up to this point. So we'll look at it. You know, that was, uh, I think we, we missed a field goal today. We had one blocked. That was a long field goal. And uh, I, I think one of the kids, I don't know who it was, he got his hands up, he got up in the air. You know, and it's a little bit long. You're trying to drive the ball. You, know, you can't put all that width on it that you normally would if it's a shorter kick. You know, so I'm just trying to drive it. The kick got up there and blocked it. Um, the out of bounds is that hurts. You know, that just kills you in field position. So, um, yeah, I mean, really everything. We'll go back and, and look at every single thing. What's going to give us the best advantage? And again, you know, we, we feel like Anders. Anders is a good player. Uh, he's done some really good things. Those 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 kind of plays where the ball goes out of bounds, um, and they weren't returning anything either. I think they were just fair catching for the most part. So that hurt us in field position, and we got to do a much better job on that. Right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Jake Chin, on the advertiser. We talked to Shank earlier, and he said, you know, not players have gotten replaced or used to, you know, losing on this one. How do you change that? Yeah, well, I think, you know, that's a message. You know, that's a message right there. I mean, losing is contagious. And you, you, you change that, you change that by how you prepare. You got to first, you got to go out there and just be a winner. All right, you got to do that at all times. And that's football, with anything else you do. You got to sacrifice your time. You got to sacrifice a lot of things to be successful at anything you do. And complacency gets you beat, period. You want to win? Like, it's no fun on Saturdays at the end of the game. You walk in a locker room, you don't win. And, you know, maybe it's fun on Tuesday night, you know, if you're just there entertaining yourself and all that. You can spend the time watching the film. There's just, there's things to do. you got to put in the time. That's really what it comes down to. There's no other way. I mean, there's no, there's no getting around hard work, period. There's no way around that whatsoever. Otherwise, you're trying to get lucky or just hoping. And, you know, if we're not executing or we're not assigned the sound and all that, that comes back to preparation, comes back to coaching preparation, everybody. You know, and that's that really is a message right there. You, you want to win? How bad? And losing can be contagious, and that's scary. All right, so, you know, you got to... Um, you got to understand that. You got to see what it really is, right? And I think that goes back to just self-assessment. That goes back to you should be trying to make sure that the guys in the room are the ones that you're out there making sure that because they see you every single day. You want to go out there and please those guys. You want to go out there and make sure that they they see the work you put in, not anybody else. All right. So just like a family, you should take care of your family first, and you got to put in the time and you got to put in the things necessary to make yourself the very best you can be and as most successful as you can be. Um, and there's no way around hard work. There's no way around dedication. That's what it takes. There's a lot of football players out there that this is all they focus on. They focus on the game. They love the game. And, you know, you don't get to play this game very long. You know, no matter how long you play, you don't get to play for very long. A lot of guys, colleges, all they got. And, you know, in order to be successful at anything, you got to dive into it. you got to be totally committed to it. And, and that's got to be the focus really at all times. And so I think that's I think that's where he's coming from on that. It's just the, the amount of dedication, time spent, and the work that it takes to be successful. Championship teams, if you ever listen to them, you know, a coach or a player at the end of the year, there's not one person that ever says how easy it was. They're never going to say, oh, this season was easy. We breezed through it. We 
a championship. You know, there was no problem with the things that we were doing. Everyone's like, all the sacrifices all the time. I'm usually talking about the other teammates, too, just how everybody put in um, that work to be successful. So hard work is, there's no substitute for it. Brian Matthews on sports.com. Uh, fourth quarter, uh, your first drop down 17 13. Uh, you get to the 28 at the lead, then you have a sack, you block the field goal, they score two straight touchdowns. Yep. How crucial the moment was that for you? Which part? <clears throat> the sack of it and the missed field goal. Yeah, all of it. I mean, it's huge. Yeah, you're driving down, you have a chance uh, to put points on the board. Uh, sack kills you. you know, when, you, when you're trying to get a field goal, too, one thing you want to eliminate is a sack. All right, you may not get the first down, but you have field position, and every yard matters, right? Um, so a chance to put points on and, and really score, you know, come out and have to score. And, and when you don't do that, all right, you get a block. And anytime there's a block, punt, block, field goal, I mean, those are big games. You start looking at stats and all that. Block kicks are huge. All right, that's one of the things that shows up in, in games where we have a block kick. It, it's uh, not good for, for the team. Um, but then the, the two scoring drives after that, that's, you know, we don't answer. You know, you're playing a good team, they score, you got to answer. You got to put points on the board, you got to answer back, you got to be able to do that. When you get down a couple drives and they got two scores and you don't, time starts to run out. They had a, they had a seven, eight minute drive in there too. You know, so now the clock becomes a factor. Right, so they had one big, one big play where they were backed up, got down, I think it was like 44 seconds, 50 second drive, and then they had a seven minute, eight minute drive. Um, so you got to answer. And to me, like that's that's complimentary football. You, you got to stop them. You got to score. If they score, you got to score back. I mean, that's just that's just the reality. Of it. Right? When their team scores, you got to go out there offensively and perform some court. Otherwise, you know, again, they drive down there, score again, you start getting behind, obviously, and uh, it becomes a different ball game. We've got two more, Jason. Right, you talking about the you know, losing part, Jason's part. What what's been different from starting six and two last year to three and ten the last thirteen? What's been the difference in, in that from a team standpoint? Yeah, well, I don't think we have quite a, our finger on it right now. But if we change that, um, you know, there's things that, that we see in every practice. It's, it's not every game. It's every it's everything we do. It's everything we do. It's it's the amount of time we spend preparing ourselves. It's the commitment to what we're doing. It's um, the planning that the coaches and everybody puts in. It's the execution. You know, it's, it's football. I mean, really, at the end of the day, we're not playing good football. And I, and I really believe that. I think that's the one thing. I think good football wins games. And great things will happen when you play good football. All right, so when you are able to stay ahead of the chains on offense, when you're able to make the plays on defense, when you have a chance to make those plays, all right, they'll become explosives. I think that's another factor in the games where there's some explosive plays and those become touchdowns. Um, but playing good football, I think, is the key. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, just going out there and, and having that conviction for every single thing that you're doing. You know, I'm a big believer on that. Talk about this one. This one's one thing I'll get you where you need to be, what you're supposed to be doing, and all that. This game is about top. This is the grit that you have to have to play this game. The condition pieces is the key ingredient. In my opinion, you got to believe, you got to believe yourself, in the game, what's, what's happening. Um, you know, it really does come down to that. You can go out there play. So uh, I don't know the answer to that to try to fix it, but I think there's things that are telling that we've seen that we're working on that it's got to come together. You know, that's the thing. You've got to put the complimentary football. It's, it's all those things before our window that have to come together. That's the beauty of, of all the preparation and time you put in is to make that happen. That's the real challenge is to have, have all those things come together when it counts. And, Right now, they're not coming together on counts, and that's that's going to lead to losing football games. All right. When you put that together on counts, you're playing good football, you have a chance to win games, win ball games, and then at the week when you're in ball games, that belief is what gets you to the end of that game in a position where you can win. Um, well, I guess it's a somewhat positive note. Can you talk about the uh, play of Candy Brown today? Oh, let me see. Yeah, I thought, you know, 
Fun player. I thought he, he stepped up, like did some really good things. He also had a couple blocks in the game, too, that were big for us. Uh, he's a guy he cares. He, he works hard. He's a young guy. He's learning, but he's he cares tremendously. Demario Austin cares. You know, there's guys in this team, they care. They want to win. You know, like we got guys that, that come in there and they got their heads in their shirt, which is how you should feel after a game like that. Not everybody's like that, but that's how you should feel. And those kids do that. You know, they're frustrated. They want to win. Um, and they want to they want to figure out. I think Camden's a guy. The one thing about Camden is he had a couple plays in the old Miss game that weren't his best. And uh, that was addressed, and he responded. You know, and that's one thing, too. When you see that, and it's not what anybody wants to see, but you go out there and respond as a player. He didn't blow it off. He didn't say, well, that's no big deal or that doesn't matter. He went out there and worked hard at it. And he made it his personal mission to get better at that, to play faster, to play harder, to learn more, to be better prepared going into a game. And then you see the result of that. It's not complicated. I mean, he he is more committed, right? But he's learning as he goes and he understands, okay, there's more commitment that's needed. There's more time and effort that's needed. There's more uh, physicality that's needed in order to play the way he wants to play. He goes out there and works like that and then shows up in the game. So we've got some good young players that understand that. And I think that's the one of the key ingredients that we all have to have. I think that's the, anything you do, you got to have that, that kind of attitude towards, you know, what you want to get better at, and then you got to have that work ethic to go out there and do it. And he's one of those kids that, that does that and showed up today. I'm proud of him. You know, I'm proud of him for being a young player that, that uh, made an impact in the game, they win the game. And I tell guys all the time, even when you lose, some guys play really well. We don't play well as a team uh, and the staff and all that, but some some players really step up, and they do some really good things even when you lose. And so we got to keep building on that, and we got to get others, all right, to follow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.